My name is Dr. Namir Haider, and I'm the Director of Interventional Pain Management and Regenerative Medicine. I've practiced medicine for over 20 years. I chose my specialty of interventional treatments and minimally invasive spine surgery because I felt that it would be the best way for me to help people get their functional abilities back and decrease their pain to improve their quality of life. So spinal disc disease is very difficult to treat. Over the years, patients have had many different treatments for treating pain. For example, if a patient has sciatica or a herniated disc, generally they start with injections like epidurals, and if those don't work, they go on to discectomies and sometimes removal of the disc and fusion of the spine. But what we found over the years is that when we fuse segments of the spine, those segments often still have stenosis and still have painful nerves in the areas that have been operated on. An additional problem that happens with spine surgery is that patients often develop new problems and new disc herniations above the level of the spinal fusion and below the level of the spinal fusion. This can occur in the neck, the low back, or even the thoracic spine. So what some of the newer minimally invasive treatments are, some things that exist are minimally invasive discectomies, laser discectomies, using specialized tools through needles instead of big incisions so that we can use radiological guidance, fluoroscopy and ultrasound to target specific discs that have disease. So those are things that can be done which are microsurgical. Microsurgery can be done as well. But some of the newer techniques that we've developed that may help significantly in treatment of discs that are herniated, discs that are degenerated, or discs that are simply painful due to annular tears is uh, treatment using regenerative medicine. And one of the treatments that I've developed for the spinal disc, whether it's the neck, the thoracic, or the low back, is the biodisc procedure, which essentially um, involves a few steps. The first step would be to evaluate a patient's disc looking at their specific MRI and then considering doing what we call an annulogram or a nucleogram where we put some dye into the disc to look for micro tears or even large tears that may not show up on MRI. Once we've diagnosed that a patient has a damaged disc and a painful disc, then we may consider regenerative medicine, which in the form of the biodisc procedure would be putting stem cells, specialized stem cells, into the nucleus of the disc, which is the gelatinous or jelly part of the center of the disc, which is sort of the shock absorber of the spine. So that helps the internal components of the disc repair and heal itself. But that's not enough. We need to seal the tears of the annulus of the disc, which is the cartilage of the disc, which exists in the outer layers, sort of like a steel belted tire. The steel belts on the outside of the tire hold the air inside a tire. The same way that that happens, the cartilage of the disc, of the annulus of the disc, holds that jelly in or that shock absorbing material in the center of the disc to make the disc function properly. So after we put the stem cells within the nucleus, to ensure that they stay there and to ensure that there's no leakage of this material, we do something called fibrin sealant of the annulus of the disc where we put a fi specialized fibrin that's the patient's own fibrin extracted from their own blood. We take the fibrin out which is really like a, the body's own natural glue, and we put that in the annulus or the outer layer of the disc so that those stem cells that we've injected stay in there and can heal over the next few weeks to months to significantly help improve the patient's pain, improve their function, and hopefully get their disc back to a more healthy, um, uh, their disc back uh, much more healthy.